Well, hello, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what we have for you guys today. This is going to be for Pisces. Pisces, two of wands. I see partnership coming on the road for you, but I see that you guys are walking away from something and walking into something here oh yeah leaving something behind here with that queen of swords there's going to be things that you guys are going to be cutting away and walking into something new here you're like listen i've had it okay <laughs> yeah it looks like there's been a lot of um confrontation fights that type of thing that looks like has been happening um or could be soon happening but there's i mean i see a lot of brutal words fights arguments that's what i'm saying here yeah, and I see you guys walking away. I see a lot of sadness. This could be within a relationship. This could be within family setting. And I do feel like someone has been having a hard time with walking away or thinking about walking away. Should I? Shouldn't I? Needing to make a decision. But someone is really like, I can't do this anymore. That's all I'm hearing. Someone is saying, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Four of Cups, I'm definitely feeling that someone has been depressed or sad for a very long time. Here with the Knight of Cups, I do feel like once you walk away, I really do feel like either you're walking into someone new or someone is going to be coming back. That's what I said. I really do feel like a lot of you guys could be romantically interest in, interested in someone else. And for some of you, you guys had already walked away from someone and it could be both. It could be someone from the past that's coming back in. It could be someone new. But I do feel like you are so guarded towards someone and you will be very guarded towards this person. There will be arguments still even in the future because it just seems like you guys are not getting along or there's a lot of misunderstanding. There needs to be a pause so you guys can think. There's so much that you were hoping for, you were wishing for, you were hoping that something will work out. I really do feel like there was a lot of passion in the connection. But I, what I really do see that uh, for some of you, there could have been a very strong bond or karmic bond, uh, tie that you have here and you're fighting you were fighting to not let it in you were you've been fighting it fighting it but i really do see that there's been some pain some problems some struggle here but you're still you still have hope that's good eight of wands so i really do see that you're going to be moving forward here you do have some type of love interest coming in it's just going to all depend on who this is but right now, Pisces, it looks like you've had it. It looks it looks like you are determined to move forward. And I feel a lot of sadness in your energy. You've been waiting for things to happen for a very long time and, and things haven't changed, okay? So I want to go ahead and clarify these cards. I'm going to start with the Two of Wands and see what this is all about here, Pisces. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Yeah, you walked away here with the Five of Swords. There could have been, um, you know, people you might have found out about other people or other could have been family members that got in the way. But you feel like you've been in a dead end relationship. You just feel like, why am I here? It could have been a marriage. I feel like there could have been a marriage here. I do feel like this is long term. And that's the reason why it's so hard to walk away. Or it could have been a long term boyfriend, girlfriend type of dynamic. I feel like someone has been very cold. There has been some brutal words spoken for a very long time. Let's get the Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Yeah, here with the Queen of Swords, you're, you're guarded and you're very optimistic moving forward here. I really do see that someone is going to try to come back in here. <laughs> you're very guarded and you're not having it. I feel like some of you guys have already experienced this. Please just know if you've already experienced it, it looks like someone is going to try to come in and win your heart. It could be someone new, but I feel like it's someone from your past that or you walked away from who was playing a lot of games. And they're thinking about you now and they're trying to win you back. And you're going to be very guarded because you don't trust them. Let's get the five of wands. And if you haven't done this yet, you will. And this person will come back in. Some of you guys are just going to be paying attention to other people. There has been a lot of unfairness in a relationship. A lot of sexual partners outside of a committed relationship or what you guys have um, agreed upon. And I, it looks like Pisces, you or your person have been holding on. Whoever's done this, it looks like you guys have, you know, put up with so much. You knew what was happening. You tried to turn a blind eye or your person was saying, oh, it'll get better. And it never got better. It's that type of thing. Let's go ahead. Let's get the four of cups. 
Mm -hmm. This two came out. Yeah, so I really do see that someone was not giving to the relationship at all, the connection at all. They just didn't care. Someone was very selfish. But I really do feel like you guys have been holding on to this and you're trying to let go. For a lot of you, like I said, I really do believe that this was a family. So you guys have children together or you could be married. And you know that it is hard for you to let go. You don't know if it's going to work. Even if you guys are separated at the moment, you don't know if it's still going to work out. And if you guys are still together, you don't know because you've been, you feel so disrespected here. Let's get the two of swords. Some of you guys really are at a crossroad. Yeah, because of children possibly. Okay. But I really do see that if this person has already left your life, this person's going to come back in here. But I just don't think that you guys are going to be able to trust them. It's just like right now, you just you don't know if you can trust them or not. Some of you guys are going to have a decision between two people or you got a choice between two people. Let's get the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups here. Yeah, someone who's single. So I do feel like there's two different people that you guys are going to choose from. Someone who's very free and open to love you. Someone who's very honest. Okay, I don't know why I don't do reversals. Someone who's honest. And I also feel like someone who's going to come in here that you already know who has been dishonest. Okay, but I feel like you guys want to cut yourself free so you can maybe love on someone else. Okay, your work, whatever this is, there's going to be a new job opportunity here with the page. I mean, with the Ace of Cup, the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, because your money looks good with the Ace of Pentacles and that Nine of Pentacles. I see that there's going to be a lot of recognition, um, especially if you, job, if you guys have been thinking about different jobs or something like that. There's going to be something amazing that's going to come in here for you. Somebody wants another opportunity, but you're going to have different opportunities in love. Let's get the star card. But you definitely have a huge decision to make. A tough choice, actually. Yeah, very guarded here with the Seven of Wands. What you're really hoping for is a long-term committed relationship with someone being honest, okay? That's what you're hoping for. But right now, it just seems like there has been nothing but problems. There's been lying and deception. So with you, you're like, I'm just going to move forward. Let's see what the Eight of Wands is all about. Eight of Wands for Pisces. Yeah. Wow. If you move forward, I'm telling you, you're going to eventually get what you want here. But I do see that there has been a lot of a lot of lies, a lot of some of you guys are moving home right now. OK, and you're trying to decide if you should stay or not. There is going to be something good for you in the future. But I feel like it's, if you guys are married, you guys got to heal. But I also feel like if you're single, there's going to be new um, love interest that's going to come into your life. But some of you guys find it very hard to walk away. Yeah, but there's going to be your money is going to be amazing. Ten of Pentacles. I see that this has something to do with a long-term committed relationship. This is difficult. This is hard because someone has been extremely disrespectful here. Extremely. And you know, it doesn't have to be long-term for everybody. Um, but either way, there is, for, for all the Pisces and I'm reading for, there's going to be someone coming in here trying to, you know, uh, maybe want you back. <laughs> um or a new person, but you have love, but you guys have been dealing with a lot of nonsense. I want to go ahead and get some Oracle cards here for Pisces. This is going to be for Pisces, please. Nosy, somebody's in your business, so be careful who you tell, especially if you guys are married. This could be neighbors. This could be someone who's wanting your spouse or wanting your person. Um, or someone who's just trying to start mess. So just be careful. Yeah, you've been dealing with someone who's very strange or twisted. Someone who just didn't care about your feelings and none whatsoever. I really do feel like here with the ninth house, this talks about your beliefs. So maybe you, I don't know, maybe you guys have, um, you know, maybe you don't, maybe your person didn't believe in your relationship anymore. Or I just feel like it does have something to do with you guys are not on the same page. You believe in you know, a committed relationship and monogamy and the other person, they don't. Okay. Something is up with how it is. Oh, some of you guys have, um, there's groupies. There were other people involved. So some of you guys are dealing with someone who's famous or this just talks about there's people who, who's all up in your relationship. Okay. Yeah. You could be dealing with a narcissist, narcissist here, or someone who has that trait. Here with the, this is talking about your work. Your work is going to be amazing. So focus on your stability. 
maybe on your children, because right now this is a mess and you guys are going to have huge decisions to make in the future, okay? So this is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.